very good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is uh, Craig here, your entertainment director, or one of the two. Uh, also, my partner in crime. He's behind the camera at the moment, uh, Mr. Andrew Ellis. Uh, this is first events here at our Stay at Home series. Now, this series was designed to bring a wide variety of family friendly entertainment to the comfort of your own home. And despite these crazy, crazy times, just want to say we are doing our best to keep our spirits very very high and as we get through this together so what we're going to do we're going to sit back relax have some fun and we are actually going to do a family friendly scavenger hunt i'm going to interact with you as much as i possibly can and i know that we actually have our um, our comments so feel free if you do want to leave those comments uh, but basically what i'm going to do i'm going to give you a riddle in that riddle, you're going to solve the riddle. I'm going to give you 40 seconds to go and find that actual, um, well, the, the item. Run on back, not too fast, because I don't want you to trip over. And you are going to keep the score. So I'm going to trust you as being the referee to keep the score. We're going to have some, uh, some trivia in here as well. This is a first for me in a very, very long time. Uh, as you can see, we have our stop clock here as well. So let's get on. So if you've got a piece of paper, by all means, if you want to keep that score, um, you can play in teams, you can play against each other. So are you ready? Let's try this first. So first question. Again, you're going to have 40 seconds. Solve the riddle. Get the item. Bring it back. Uh, and you've got to come back to the original position where we're at. And by all means, if you want to take a picture and post it online to our Fest Events website and to interact as well as to show us what you're doing in these crazy, crazy times. So firstly, before we start, let's go hand up. Everybody hands up. I can see you at home. Everybody right hand up. That's it. The other right hand. Right hand. Uh, and just promise to say, I state your name. That's it. You say your name. You don't say state your name. I promise not to fight, bite, push, or any of the other stuff. Okay, here we go. First one. So you got 40 seconds on the clock. Remember, you're going to bring it back. 40 seconds. First one. The more I dry, the wetter I become. 40 seconds. Here we go. All right, off you go. Off you go. Off you go. 36. 35. 34, 33, 37. All right. Let's see. Come on. All right, perfect. 20 seconds. 20 seconds. Hey, it's the Godfather. Tori, I see you. Sam is watching. Eight, seven, six, five, four. Three, two, one. Time's up. Uh, so, let's see what you got. So, the answer, the item you should have, and I'm not going to go for anything else, but you can be creative if you wanted to. And if you were creative, again, post it on there. Ah, uh, the more I dry, the wetter I become. The item I was looking for, by all means, if you want to leave it in the actual um, news feed here, it was a towel. A towel is what I was looking for, but leave that towel right beside you. All right, so here we go for our next one. 40 seconds. 40 seconds. Not yet, Siri. Not yet. All right. Next question. I am bigger than a flea. I am bigger than a bee. You can unlock the door with me. Okay. I'm bigger than a flea. I'm bigger than a bee. You can unlock the door with me. Here we go. 38. Two seconds down. Here we go. 35. 34. Come on. Minus 30 seconds. 30 seconds to find it. Remember, I'm bigger than a flea. I'm bigger than a bee. You can unlock the door with me. 20 seconds to find it. Come on, Karen Sherberger. Come on. You can find this as well. What item are we looking for? We had a towel. This is question number Nine, two. Eight, seven, seven, six, six five, four, four, three, two, two one. one. Yeah. Yes, Mr. Ellis, I could dance during the countdown. That's uh, 
maybe in the next one, I will do maybe, I'll, I'll do a phone booty for you, Mr. Ellis, if that's okay. If that will cheer you up for the day and put a smile on your face, I will do a, a darn booty for you. So I'm bigger than a flea, I'm bigger than a bee. You can unlock the door with me. What was I looking for? George Dawes, what was I looking for? Anybody? What did you find? Anybody? I was looking for a key, a door key is what I was looking for. Did anybody get that? Is anybody out of breath? Does anybody want to take a, a breath right now? Number three. Okay, we go for the countdown again. Seconds. All right, Siri, Siri, hold up, hold up. Next one, number three. If you find me on the floor with my heads up, this is an easy one, you'll have good luck. If you find me on the floor with my heads up, you'll have good luck. If you find me on the floor with my heads up, you'll have good luck. Run, run. This is a bit of the robot. You like those, you like those movies? Minus 20 seconds. Here is Miss Karen Scherberger. 15 seconds. 15 seconds. Remember, take a picture, post it on our side if you wish. Ten, nine, nine, eight, eight. I can feel the tension. Seven, six, five, five four, four, three, three two, two, one. Zero. Time is up. The answer, if you feel free, it was? It was a penny. It was indeed a penny. Uh, oh, look at this. Yes, Karen. <laughs> Karen Sherberger said, move over, Andrew. It's a key. It is indeed a key. Uh, the second one, though, was a penny. We were looking for a good luck penny. So we'll move to a trivia, just a trivia question, just to spice things up for a second. Lieutenant Dang, I can see you leaving comments there. Okay, next one. Now listen to this one. I won't give you, actually, no, I'm going to give you 40 seconds to solve this one as well. It's a bit of a mind bender. Haley, you may get this one. Now listen up, an electric train goes east at 40 miles an hour. The wind blows west at 30 miles an hour. Which direction does the steam blow? All right, that's a zero, here we go. Let's give you, what's she gonna give you? Let's give you 25 seconds, easy one. So an electric train goes east at 40 miles an hour. The wind blows west at 30 miles an hour. Which direction does the steam blow? 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Doom! Zero. The answer was. Anybody know? Too hard? Too hard? Correct, Mr. Grizzly. There is no steam. And why is there no steam? because it's an electric train well done an electric train going to dame court school there in england taught you a lot of things mr matt Brisley. if that the school bus to to school next one number four this gives me all the way back to the timer four. shush okay next one number four remember run and get it bring it back take a picture post it on um I smash scissors and paper covers me. I smash scissors and paper, it covers me. I smash scissors and paper, it covers me. This is a fairly easy one. Remember when you get all the items, just leave them there because at the end we'll take a nice big group picture and post it on there. Maybe we can do some more of this. 17. 15 seconds. 15. 13. 10. 9. nine eight, 8. 7. 7 6, 6. 5. 5 4, 4. 3. 2. 1. 1 0. Now, I know that you're not supposed to be outside. However, you could have one of these inside. I'm not saying you may have one of these, but we were looking for a rock. A rock is the item that we were looking for. So we had a towel, a key, a penny, and a rock. They should be in front of you as of right now. Um, let's go for this one. <laughs> Number five. 
Um, wow, here we go. If you step out of the bathroom and people laugh at you, you have this stuck to your shoe. If you step out of the bathroom and people laugh at you, you have this stuck to your shoe. Go and find it, bring it back. Be a very rich person if you had a lot of those. That may be a clue. Are you in the safe? 26, 25, 4, 23, 20. Minus 20 seconds. Here we go. That's number 5. 15 seconds. 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 8 7, 7, 6, 6 5, 5, 4, 4 3, 3, 2, 2 1. 1. Yeah. Time is up. Um, I'm not sure how many of these you have. I have started seeing them going back on the shelves, but I know a lot of guests and lots of people were buying these in mass quantities. I'm not sure if they were wanting to dress themselves up as an Egyptian mummy. We were looking for toilet paper. That's uh, more valuable than pennies at the moment. Toilet paper is what I was looking for on a Friday evening. On a Friday evening as well, what is everybody up to other than watching me this evening? Friday evening, what's everybody else up to? Mr. Nicholas Whiteside, Andrew Campbell, Pip, I was here, JR, Mr. Nicholas Whiteside, I've not heard from you in a very, very long time. And DJ Paul is on the line. Okay, this is like a big kind of cruise ship reunion at the moment. The, Godf the Godfather number two is watching. Okay, number, let's go for question number two. Um, listen up very carefully. I'm going to take lots of uh, answers for this song. This is one of my favorites. Uh, we'll give you, I'm going to give you 20 seconds for this one. I was going to use the Alexa, but no, not you. No, not you. Not, not right now. Shh. Okay, we're going to give you 11 seconds. Question In the US and Canada, what is the most commonly used form of transportation in the US and Canada what is the most commonly used form of uh, transportation that's in the US and Canada think about Ten, it nine, nine eight, eight seven Carol five, she's watching five, four, four three, three two, two one, one zero Time is up in the US and Canada. Is anybody going to take it? Uh, what's that, Paul? Mr. Golden Microphone himself. I'll tell you a funny story about DJ Paul later as well. Phone me up for the night off to watch a football game on a cruise ship. Um, in the US and Canada, what is the most commonly used form of transportation? Is anybody going to take a guess? Matt, you said a horse. Mr. JR, you said your feet. Good answer. Both very. A horse is a random one. How many people, like, a most commonly used form of transportation? Is Karen Sherberger, do you care to take an answer? Andrew, Haley, Sammy, Tori, the Godfather, it is the elevator. The elevator is the answer I was looking for. That's a good one. Do you think about it? Kind of think about it. Oh, we have the uh, buses. You have boats, you have cars, you have roller skates. All right, mark yourself down for a point if you've got that answer. Papa T, oh, train, DJ Paul. Papa T, our uh, promenade soloist, there he is. Ignition, a truck. I see there's a little bit of a delay here. I know there is a delay. Um, next question. Okay, this is another scavenger. Remember, run and get it. Run-ish. As quick as you can, bring it back. Sit in front of us, take a picture, and post it on there. If you can, just have some fun. Next one, 30 seconds. Something that is black and white and red all over. Something that is black and white and red all over. 39 seconds. Off you go, Siri. Here we go. Oh. Oh. Mr. John Ford is watching. How's my hair, John? How's the hair? I did a few, John. 23 seconds. Minus 20 seconds. Oh, yeah, the online carnival quest. Don't run at me. 15 seconds. 15 seconds. Come on. 
Come on. Ten. Nine. Gary Bryan. Seven. Oh, now I feel the pressure. Five. Four. Three. Two. two, two one. one. Yeah. It was. The question was, Mr. Gary Briley and Cash Ever, have you got it? It was a newspaper. So if you have that in front of you, congratulations. Um, I could put it down, it could have been today's, could have been yesterday's. Um, also, what us British we used to eat our fish and chips in uh, was originally newspaper. And my nan and granddad used to say if you had it in the newspaper, that the ink would make it taste better. Fun trivia. So as a newspaper, Mr. Gary Briley. Uh, or a penguin down here as well. All right, here we go. The next one. Um, this is pretty easy, this next one, but again, Friday night. 40 seconds. 40 seconds. Listen up carefully. If an adventure is what you want, take a look. If an adventure is what you want, take a look. Think about this one. If an adventure is what you want, take a look. Run and get it. Somewhere around the house. Remember, it's internal. No one's going to be going out as of yet or social distancing if you're playing together. Come on, Riley. Plastic ships up for grab. Yes. Plastic uh, ship on sticks. 13, 12, 10, 9, 9 8, 8, 7, 6, 6 5, 9, 4, 4 3, 3 Two, one, zero. Okay. Any answers? What do we get? We got. It was easy. Everybody has this, but I know obviously there's online books. And, so yes, it was a book. It was a book. Is what you were looking for, Mr. Gary Bryley. How's the weather in Australia at the moment? It's uh because it's now. You're 24 hours ahead, if I remember right. So you're kind of ahead, ahead. Are you head behind? No, you're head. 24 hours ahead. Uh, next one. Okay, that was number seven. Number eight. Let's get my old timer back on up. What do you say? Siri. Here we go. Number eight. Are you ready? Okay. Du, 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 du. Andrew, can we can we sort the count, please? There we go. I blow in the wind. And drop in the fall. I blow in the wind and drop in the fall. All the autumn, I drop in the wind and uh, I blow in the wind and drop in the fall. All the autumn. What am I looking for? Run and get it. Bring it back. I blow in the wind. Oh, Nine fifteen Saturday. Wow. A letter. Mr. Adventurous Man himself in the Wheel of Death, Rise and Pitch in the Forge. Used to come out. Used to, used to come out to his uh, run, run Rudolph at Christmas time. Ten, You're very close, man. Nine, You're very close. Eight, seven, six, five, five four, four, three, two, three, two, one, zero. Okay. Now that was, I blow in the wind and drop in the fall. I was looking for a leaf, however, yeah, leaves, I'll take that leaf. Yes, leaf, good job, nice one. How is everybody doing so far? Is anybody ready for a, a beverage? A, a family beverage like lemonade or? Remember there is a, a, um, a prize at the very end of this as well. For everybody taking part, everybody will get a prize, including you, Mr. Gary. Um, number, let's go for a question. This is question number three, trivia question. Number three, here we go. If you have it, uh, you want to share it. If you share it, you do not have it. What is it? If you have it, you want to share it. If you share it, you do not have it. What is it? I'm going to give you... That's a fair amount of time for that. 25 seconds. Shay Michaels. DJ Shay Michaels. Kete, ah Kete. Monkey. Why did the monkey fall out the tree? Because he was dead. Oh, I haven't told that in a while. Hannah's here. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Zero. 
So there we are. The question was, if I have it, you want to share it. If you share it, you do not have it. What is it? Congratulations. It is a secret. Is that easy? You want easy or you want to go harder? All right. It is a secret. Correct. Well done. Let's go for next one. This is going to be number nine. Um, okay, I'm just there. Yeah. Why did the monkey fall? I'm trying that joke. Why did the monkey fall out the tree? Because he was dead. Why did the second monkey fall out the tree? See if you remember this one. Why did the second monkey fall out the tree? Here we go. Next question. Oh, if you skin your knee and feel bad, stick on me and you'll be glad. If you skin your knee and you feel bad, stick on me and you'll be glad. What am I looking for? Go and find it. Be creative if you want. We've got a part of the tells that secret. It's a secret. It is a secret. Okay, Tia, how are we doing? Are you back in England or are you, did you come back from the ship? Or you, Mine is coming second. You know, you're kind of here. 17 seconds. 15 seconds. 15. Christopher Williams, the flying Ten, Scotsman himself. Nine, eight, seven, six, six, five, four, four three, three, two, two one, zero. zero. We do have the flying Scotsman, Mr. Christopher Williams, all the way from the Carvel Panorama, I think you're on. Uh, I did see your post the other day with your kilt being blown in the wind. Hopefully you're wearing underwear. Damien Finch is watching. Katie, yep, she's back in England. The answer I was looking for. And Matt, you said a plaster. It was a plaster, and I would accept Band-Aid as well. Um, Band-Aid, so that's the two there. Uh, let's see. I'm, I'm here. I'm going with two screens. Uh, let's go for this. It was a Band-Aid or a plaster. Congratulations. Well done. That was number nine, if you are keeping. We're doing 20 of these. Uh, number 10. Uh, let's go for this. Let's reset the counter. Which is shame that kills. Um, Karen, it was a, a leaf. We were going back, kind of two back. And Hannah. Hannah's here as well. Yes. Let's try another one. This is number 10. Fill me up all the way, but make sure you take me out or I will stink the next day. Fill me up all the way, but be sure to take me out or I will stink the next day. 30, uh, 40 seconds. 38. Oh, wow, I thought we scroll down here. It is just kind of a reunion. We're here. We should do like uh, shows. The Stay at Home series for uh, Norfolk Fest events. We're here for you, one big Norfolk Fest events family. This is our Stay at Home series. I'll tell you about some more in a second. 13. 100. 8. 7. 6. 5. 4. 3. 2. 1. 0. That was tense. I could feel the tension coming through the screen on that one. Um, the answer, again, we're on different spectrums here, different globes, different sayings. I will accept, ah, oh, it's a Kate Middleton indeed is watching as well. Princess Kate Middleton is watching. Um, I was looking for a trash bag or a rubbish bag or a black sack. You could have those or a, a bin liner. But a trash bag is what I was looking for. Fill me up all the way, but be sure to take me out or I will stink the next day. So that was a trash bag. I wish we could, maybe uh, in the week, we could sort out like a, like a phone-in or something we could try. Um, question number four. This is one of my real favorites. Uh, it's a strong, wait, hang on, Siri. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. 21 seconds she's going to give you for this one. Question number four. This is a trivia question. A farmer has 26 sheep. One dies. How many are left? A farmer has 26 sheep. One dies. How many are left? A farmer has 26 sheep. One dies. How many are left? 18. 17. Come on, Karen. 
Is that countdown starting to get you? Ten, no. Nine, eight, it's building the seven, tension. Six, five, five four, four, three, two, two one, one zero. zero. It is. So remember the question. A farmer has 26 sheep. One dies. How many are left? Anybody have an answer? Mr. Match, you may get this one. Ah, Katie. Yep. So we've got 19, 19. Simon Barnes. Days of playing the Nintendo. That was it. Rescue Rangers we used to play. Great game. 26 sheep in a field. All oh, the emojis are coming out now. It is 19. 26 sheep. In a field, one will die. Take it away. It's 19, not 26 sheep in a field. Okay, that was just for you, Andrew. All right, Kim Thomas, you're watching as well. And oh, yes, congratulations, Andrew and Haley as well. DJ Paul, nice shout out there. We'll see you in the nightclub for the uh, Motown hour. How was it? Who the Patriots? Was the Patriots or the the Chargers? I remember that. You were a fan of the old Chargers. I said twenty six sheep in a field. One dies. How many left? Twenty six. Twenty six. Twenty five. So yeah, ninety. That's what I said. Twenty six sheep in a field. One dies. Twenty six. That's a. Uh, I'm not going to argue with the boss. Next question number eleven. Let's bring it back down, the timer. Uh, number 11, remember, online scavenger hunt, inside only any items around the house. If you are just joining us, uh, you can find any of the items, take a picture in front of the computer with me in the background or the Norfolk Fest events, uh, logo the at home, stay at home series. And remember, we're gonna have a lot of fun with this. We did start at the very, very beginning of the week. We have concerts, we also have, uh, late, well, tomorrow being Saturday, we have at noon, Downtown Dog Days. That's going to be with Brittany Day, our creative manager. She's actually going to be down, downtown with uh, Remy and Chris as well, her other half. And they'll be walking around uh, Norfolk and uh, just having some fun, having a chit-chat. So join in at noon. Uh, this is not a sea day, Gary Briley. 7 o'clock as well tomorrow night if you are a... Um, I say a foodie. Anything interested with food? He was on the other night. It is the crazy hungry uh, questions and the uh, food questions you have. He is our local food, um, let's say, expertise of our fest events and cocktails as well. I know he's a fan of the cocktails, martinis. That's with Patrick Evans, Hilton Nappy, tomorrow at seven o'clock. So make sure you tune on in. Um, let's try this. It is the child, Judy Williams. Wow. Um, next question. It's number 11. I start with an E and I end with an E. That's the letter E, but contain one letter. I start with an E and end with an E, but contain one letter. What am I looking for? Go and find it. Go and find it. 37 seconds. 37. Come on. All right. Tomorrow is 30 seconds. Why did the third monkey fall out the tree? Because he thought it was a game. All right. Seconds. Come on. All right. Eight. Andrew's taking the guess. Envelope. Envelope. Four. Three. Two. One. Uh, and the time has stopped. Uh, we have Envelope, Envelope, Andrew Ellis, my acquaintance, my other entertainment director. He says an I. It is an envelope. It is an envelope we were looking for. So congratulations if you are sat there with an envelope. Congratulations. Uh, remember, we do have our children's festival coming up later in the year. We have some fun for that too. I know we had Jason Blair yesterday, was reading the bedtime stories, not the bedtime story. He had some great stories. He had the circus ship and a creepy pair of underwear. That was yesterday. That was number 11. Number 12. Do you want me to change out the, the counter? Was that, I feel like technically I could be correct. That is correct. Dini, 
She's also an Australia watching. Uh, if I win, can I have that shirt? You like the shirts? One of my favorites. See that? Like, oof. That's down. There we go. That's better. Peer pressure. Oh, yeah, you remembered. Third question. Here we go. Number 12. I am on your left and I am on your right. Hopefully, I'm not too tight. I'm on your left and I'm on your right. Hopefully, I'm not too tight. What am I looking for? Go for it. Go and find it. <clears throat> Go and ask mum and dad. Peer pressure. Um, it's water, by the way. Not gin. Patrick Evans, not gin yet. 20 seconds. Come on. 13 seconds. Ooh. 13. 10. 9. 8. 7. 6. 5. 4. 3. 2. 1. Yeah. Time is up. Uh, Matt Brisley, you took a guess of a shoe. The question was, I'm on your left and I'm on your right. Hopefully, I'm not too tight. It could be a shirt. I mean, it could be a shirt. It's kind of being tight to you. Um, we do our, <laughs> well, we do our water bottles, that's... Uh, yes, we do our water bottles. It's uh, my favorite bottle. Um, the answer I was looking for was a shoe. A shoe is uh, what I was looking for, left and right. And Gary, what do they call flip-flops in Australia? What do they call flip-flops in Australia? Kelly Miller, nice to see you. It's been a while. Um, an answer that was a shoe. Gary, I'll let you finish that answer off. So what do they call uh, flip-flops in Australia? Nothing, nothing. Let's reset this timer. So again, we are doing 20 questions. We have 20 squ uh, scavenger. scavenger. We're on number 13, and then we have seven questions. Here we go. Next one. Are you ready? 39 seconds on the clock. Reminds me of the Hasbro the Game Show. You remember, Gary? Next one. 13. I make marks wherever I go. I shrink as your ideas Grow. I make marks wherever I go. I shrink as your ideas grow. Be creative. Off you go. Go and find it. 39 seconds. Come on. It is. Thongs. Yes. Can I get that as well? With Peter. Oh, I should get that. What's he doing from Australia? It is tongs, 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 tongs. Yes. Thongs is what they're called in Australia. Diddy Ashley is here. Little Ash. 17 seconds. 15 seconds. I make marks wherever I go. I shrink as your ideas grow. 10, 9, That's it. 8, 7, 6, 6 5, 5, 4, 4 3, 2, 2 1, 0. Time, 13. That was, a, that was intense. The answer was, anybody get it? Anybody get it? Anybody have the item in front of them? Any youngsters, go and find it. Could be different colors if you wanted to. Doesn't have to be one color. Could be electronic. Oh, I say the pencil. I'll take Apple Pencil. We are moving to that digital age as well. It is a pencil. Congratulations. It was a pencil. The riddle was, I make marks wherever I go. I shrink as your ideas grow. Congratulations. Well done, pencil. Mark yourself down for another point. Remember, you're refereeing yourselves. No, no cheating. All right. Next question. Next trivia question. This is going to be a bit of a multiple choice. Um, very similar to who wants to be a, a millionaire, which I see it's making a comeback. I think it's got a celebrity comeback now. Um, I mean, it's kind of gone and come back. And there was also a great documentary on Netflix, I think it is. That was in England. I'm not sure if I'm about to say this, but he <clears throat> coughed his way through the game. I'll let you look into that. Uh, question. This is a sports one for all you sports fans out there. I know that the sports aren't happening. So, uh, Trey, I put this in for you. And, Andrew, I put this in for you again. Congratulations to Trey, our Festive Eggs family as well. Question is, what was the first televised sport in 
the USA. What was the first televised sport in the US of A? Shawnee O is watching as well, the old Dell boy. What is the first televised sport? Give me multiple choice. Is it A, baseball? Is it B, volleyball? Is it C, football? That's going to be the football, NFL football. Sorry, Matt. It's, it could be soccer as well. Or is it uh, ABC? Or is it D, basketball? So you've got A, baseball. B, volleyball. C, football. Or D, basketball. What is the answer? You've got four of those. So what I would like everybody to do, if you are participating at home, everybody put one hand in the air. One hand. Right hand up. That's it. Now keep it up if you got the answer correct. Here we go. Keep your hand up if you said baseball is the correct. Baseball is the idea, is the actual answer correct? Not sure what year that was, but baseball was the first televised sport in the US of A. I didn't put the time on that one. Sorry, Andrew. I, I, sorry, Andrew, I didn't mean to upset you with the time. Next one. This is number 14 of 20. We are nearly there. Also as well, if you are enjoying this, remember we have Norfolk Fest events. This is our stay at home series. I am Craig, I'm one of your entertainment directors with the family of Fest events, uh, Norfolk Fest events. So if you are enjoying the show uh, and the series and are in a position to help this cause financially, uh, please head to that link, which is just above, it should be just above my head or just down and then every little bit counts. And we're tremendously grateful for any contributions. And thank you. And I hope you enjoy the rest of the show. Um, next one. Here we go. Uh, let's go for number the, that was number 13. Number 14. Remember, let's give you 36 seconds on the clock. We're taking it down. 14. I am by the sink and I make you not stink. I am by the sink and I make you not stink. Go for it. You have 35 seconds. Kevin's here. There he is. Minus 30 seconds. Penny Gold. Oh my. Penny all the way in Pigeon Forge. Here we go. Penny was also. Uh, Austin's watching for the Titanic. 18 seconds. I'm by the sink and I make you not stink. What am I looking for? Go and find it. Bring it back. You have 10 seconds. Thank you, Siri. 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Time is up. Woo. Here we go. The answer I'm by the sink. And make sure you put this back afterwards because I'm sure someone may be looking for it because you should be doing this all the time at the moment is washing your hands. I was, bleach, uh, I'm, I suppose you could wash your hand with bleach. Uh, door, you could wash your door, which is also hand sanitizer kind of uh, soap is correct, is exactly on the button. Sarah Michelle Lowry's is watching, wow. Um, we also have water, you can use water, but I'm not sure how you take the water from the sink in the scavenger hunt. To, I suppose you could put it in glass, but just don't spill it on the television, on the computer, or your phone that's in front of you, or your iPad, whatever item you're using right now. Uh, I was looking for soap, correct. I am by the sink and I make you not stink. Remember to put it back, but also remember to wash your hands. Two minutes, social distancing. Uh, next one, number 15. I'm going to take this timer on back. We'll go to Siri. What we get? Twenty-five seconds. Siri, slow down. Twenty. Let's give you. Let's take it up here. Okay. Stop. Number fifteen of twenty. Something with. Now be careful with this one. Something with arms and legs, but has no head. Be creative. Something with arms and legs, and has no head. Think about it. Go and find it. Bring it back. Remember, all these items leave in front of the uh, computer or wherever you are. We'll take a picture and post it on our website. It shows how much fun you've had. Austin, Henry Holmes, Brittany. So I hope you're feeling better now. Oh, Brittany. Brittany Day has joined us. 
Again, she's going to be with us tomorrow at noon. Oh, let's jump from the Titanic. Nine, eight, seven, seven, six, five, four, three, this one. two, one, one zero. Time is up. Now, this was a difficult one. Um, hopefully, you didn't drag it. Hopefully, you carried it carefully. Uh, you did that lifting technique where you bend your legs, you keep your, your back straight, health and safety all the way. It was indeed a chair a chair um, we have francis watching us as well all from our, our pvp from carnival personal vacation planner and uh, i just want to introduce a few of us that's in the room as friends austin from pigeon forge um uh, one of my titanic friends also hatfield and mccoy if you're ever down hatfield and mccoy go and see the show it's great with hatfield yeah the hatfield and mccoy's versus i should know this um with the honeydew list as well, we also have a pirate show. Let's go for our next one. Next one, here we go. So that was 15. It was a chair I was looking for. A chair. So you should have a chair there in front of you. Or you sat in a chair, it didn't really do much. Um, this is just for Francis. It is the Carnival Conquest. Remember that one. Uh, next one, this is second to last question. I'm sorry, guys, when you leave there, when you leave the end. Just a bit of fun whilst this is happening, because that's what uh, festival is all about. Having fun, family, and just a good time. Can't be outside, but we're inside. We're about to get back out very shortly. Uh, let's go for question. Think about it. Listen, if you had a rooster sitting on the peak of a roof and facing north, facing yes, north, and it laid an egg, which direction would the egg fall, okay? Or would, would it roll? Uh, if you had a rooster sitting on the peak of a roof facing north, and it laid an egg, which direction would it roll? Think about it. I'm going to give you, I'm going to give you, it's going to be serious. Eight, seven, eight, seven six, six, five, four, six, three, two, two one. The answer, does anybody get it? Anybody get it? Jennifer Schmidt, anybody? Sarah, you watching? Matt, anybody? Karen, Andrew, Haley, Katie? If you had a rooster sitting on the peak of a roof facing north and it laid an egg, which direction would it roll? No pressure on you, Andrew Ellis, but what is the answer? It is dum ba ba da bom 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 Correct, Francis. It is the Francis effect. Always the first one to answer. It was no egg. So facing the south. Roosters, correct, do not lay eggs. A rooster does not lay an egg. That was a difficult one. I know it is getting to quarter to eight or eight forty four. Yeah, seven forty five. Someone's just opened a beer. It's time to relax. Okay, there's a question. Number 16. Here we go. 16 of 20. We are coming to a very close. Thank you very much for playing. Remember, keep all those items in front of you. Number 16. I have a neck, but no head, but I still wear a cap. I have a neck, but I don't have a head. Oh, sorry. I have a neck, but no head, but I still wear a cap. What am I looking for? Go and find it. 35 seconds to run off and find it. Correct. Oh, it's Carolyn. Carolyn is watching. Mother Carolyn and Ralphie. Ralphie. Is that your real name? Yes, it's my name, real name, Ralphie. Come on, 40, 30, 12, 11. Nine. Have a neck, but no head. Seven, six, five, four, three, two. One. Yeah. Correct. You should be sat there or out of breath. Uh, Godfather, yes. It could be a beer. I will accept a beer bottle. However, if you are under the age of 21, no, 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 no. You like being chaffed with a water bottle, but it was a bottle, uh, a glass bottle, a plastic bottle. Um, I'll accept that. So, yes, it is a bottle. Well done. It was a difficult one. I have a neck, but no head but I still wear a cap. So the cap, which is the bottle cap. Next one. All right. So, I mean, if you do have any shout outs, by all means, 
Do you want to say anything to anybody? We do have this news feed here, and we're all one big family together. Number 17. This is a difficult one. Um, think about this one. When I put on my clothes, it takes off its clothes. clothes. It is a Friday night, so be careful. It's a family show. When I put on my clothes, it takes off its clothes. What am I looking for? Go and find it. When I put on my clothes, it takes off its clothes. What am I looking for? Come on. Swear, this is very intense. Come on. Do have some glasses. Come on. Ten, nine, nine, eight, eight seven, six, six five, five, four, four three, three, two, one. Zero. Time is up. Okay, it's 30 seconds. What was I looking for? Ah, uh, yeah. <clears throat> Pretty day. It could be a. A hammer is what I was looking for. You could put this in a closet. I'm. Sure, you have a big closet to bring all those clothes along with you. Evan Hanger! Wow, it is a hanger. Evan Hanger, our old uh, techie a techie on the old ships. I haven't seen Evan for, uh, I think it's 2006, I think, on the Carnival Liberty was the last time that we met. Or saw each other. Oh, man. All friends here, family forever. Uh, <clears throat> number. Sorry, I'm going to drink out my very expensive glass. Well, see, sponsorship right here. Tropical. I need some music here. <sighs> Refreshing. We are on, as you can see, a whole way around. Uh, number 18. Here we go. Let's go up to number 40 seconds again. Yeah. What time is it? Are we at five? It's actually 10 to 1 in England right now. Uh, my friends and family from England. What are you doing up on a Friday? Well, it's Friday night, Saturday. It could be a day off tomorrow. You're not going anywhere tomorrow. Not that up. Next one, number 18. I am full of holes, but still hold water. I am full of holes, but I still hold water. Go and find it. Remember, leave all these items in front of you. Oh, thank you. Oh, big, big naps. 23. Was Cinderella a bad football player? Because she kept running away from the ball. By the ball. You can share that. You can take that with you. Five, four, three, two, one, zero. I was looking for. Now, kids, I know you're watching well, and I'm sure you're taking part. If you shout the answer loud enough, I guarantee I'm going to hear. So on three, I want to hear you shout the answer right at me. On one. So we're going one, two, three, and not one, two, three. One, two, three. A bit louder, a bit louder. You got to get closer to the screen. That's it, closer. There it is. I was looking for a sponge. Correct. Well done. A sponge. Um, Andrew, good job. You got that one as well. A sponge. And so we're down. Oh, last two. We are down to the last two. I feel we've shared a moment together. But remember, this is going to be every day this week. We're going to have some more events, much more to tune into. So tell your family, tell your friends. This is how, how we're doing things, you know, just to kind of keep it light. Why well, is hap well, this, this happening? And then once it uh, all lifts, we'll be back out in the sunshine enjoying ourselves, I guarantee. Number 19. Now, I did ask, I could keep, this is family friendly. It's up to you, you can be creative, but I did use this question. I may throw another one in the end, just to see for you, Penny. Um, number 19, here it comes. Question is, what number? Wait, wait, I'm not, I'm not saying it Number 19, as I grow, actually no, I've already used this one. Okay, let's, uh, <laughs> let's go for a question. Question, um, who invented, let's try this one, who invented the toilets? 
Who invented the toilet? 37 seconds. Who invented the toilet? Engineer, very famous. We'll never forget. Come on. Phil is watching. Mr. Rhymes. Brother, brother. 20 seconds. 20 seconds. Who invented the toilet? That's the question. Is Karen Scherberger who invented the toilet? 10, 9, 8, 8 7, 6, 6 5, 5, 4, who invented the 3, toilet? 2, 1, 0. Answers, please. Anybody get this one? Come on, Mr. Gary Bridey. You may get this one. Come on, our kitty. Come on. No, it, it well, well done. It was. It isn't Dr. Commode. It isn't uh, Dr. Commode. Good answer. That's his brother. He invited the, the, the bidet. I think, yeah, the bidet. Uh, Ralphie, the answer was correct. It was Sir Thomas Crapper. Sir Thomas Crapper is who I was looking for. Well done. That was number. I've lost it here. That was uh, number 19. Number 20. Last and final scavenger thing to find. Remember, it's all on this. No pressure. No pressure. Uh, also, as well, I'll throw it out to you. Um, I, we're all watching here. Now, I think here possibly I could make this a normal thing. Uh, maybe a Friday night or a Wednesday night or a Monday night. Which day of the week? But we could do this as a theme. We could do like an 80s. We could do a 90s. We could do a Motown. Uh, we could do something like a nice fun quiz or a theme to it and just get back together and have some fun. Um, so you tell me, put it in the comments, and we'll go from there. Just to hang out, have some fun, grab a drink, grab a snack. Yeah. Uh, next question, and the last and final one, number 20. Okay. Alexa. No, you're not you. Alexa, shh. She's going to say it. She's going to do it. Number 20. I am a king or a queen, but I also... Measure. I am a king or a queen, but I also measure. What am I? Go and find it. Bring it back. Take a picture with yourself. Uh, here we go. 36 seconds. Juju. Come on. Come on. 24 seconds. Come on. I'm a king or queen, but I also measure. It's a difficult one. Think about it. You're not at school. You may have one of these lying around the house. Uh, I know that Andrew nine, is looking to do his eight, decking to put that eight, hot tub in. Six, five, four. Uh, Lieutenant six, Dan is watching. Two, one, Come on. Uh, last and final one. A little bit of music. Oh, that's it. I was looking for correct. I was looking for a ruler. Well done, Francis. Straight in there in front of Ralphie again. It was a ruler. That's it. You can come in different sizes, but I was looking for a ruler. It was either king or queen, but I also measure as well. It was a ruler. And the last and final question. This is the trivia question. Last and final one. Uh, of course, uh, I just wanted to say as well, thanks for tuning in. Remember, this is one of many. We have lots and lots of things going on as well. Let me just go back into our. Uh, we also have this screen. Let me go to here. Did bring this back up. We also have, remember, Downtown Dog Days with Brittany Day, our creative manager. Tomorrow at noon, 7 o'clock, a crazy culinary, culinary, culinary questions uh, and cocktails with Patrick Evans Hilton. So if you have any questions, any random things that are in your fridge, changing uh, around things that are in your fridge and you want to know what to do with that food maybe a cocktail you want to know what to kind of make over the weekend tune in at seven o'clock tomorrow night 8 30 we do have yoga or roga 8 30 in the morning for those yoga fans uh, that's going to be with rosemary our fest events family so that's also on our channel also our website tune in and then seven o'clock on sunday night we also have michael little 
uh, we've got an original songbook as well. We've had some fantastic musicians. We've had great talent as well. Uh, come share your fun with us as well. So again, uh, if you do want to support us, please support us in this series. And if you are in that position to contribute financially to the Norfolk Fest events cause, please head up to the link. That's going to be below, or I do believe just up. Tap that link. And any contribution is tremendously appreciated. We do thank you very much in this time for that support as well. And our last and final, again, thank you very much for tuning in. It has been a lot of fun. Remember, I've not done this in a very, very long time. It really, uh, it's, uh, it's very uh, fantastic actually to see everybody again. And yeah, we'll make it more and more and more. Uh, but the last and final question, here we go. What can travel? Thank you, Sir Ted. That's uh, Sir Ted just uh, sent me a message. Uh, what can travel around the world while staying in the corner? What can travel? We can't do this at the moment. But what can travel around the world whilst staying in the corner? What am I looking for? I'm going to give you last 30 seconds. Last 30 seconds. Here we go. Nick is watching. Nicky. All right, looking no fishing today. Come on, 28 seconds. Jessica, nice to see you from the Titanic. I got some actors watching on Sam. Sam's you are. Sorry, they called. We are calling the window. 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 8 7, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3. three. Two, one, time is up. And what was I looking for? What was I looking for? Come on. The question was, what can travel around the world while staying in the corner? Uh, good answer, good answer. A compass was a very good answer. Um, not what I was looking for, but it was a good answer. It's all about taking part. Uh, anybody else? Last one, we're at Lieutenant Dan. Anybody else? So, uh, and TV? Uh, no, not a TV. The last and final one I was looking for was a stamp. A stamp is what I was looking for. Um, so, it went obviously in the, an envelope in the very top corner, you click it, it can travel around the world to different parts of the world. Um, so, Ladies and gentlemen, that's been me, Craig, uh, your entertainment director here with Norfolk Fest Events, our Stay at Home series. Uh, remember, tune in tomorrow for Brittany Day. That's our creative manager. She's going to be uh, walking uh, downtown in, well, downtown Norfolk as well, down the park there, our uh, Fountain Field, uh, Town Point Park, Town Point Park, and Town Fountain Point Park. Um, there's a mouthful as well. But that's what we do all of our events. So she's going to be walking around and answering any questions, going to have some chats with you. Chris, her other half, is going to be there, a very cute puppy as well. Remy's going to be there answering all of those uh, puppy questions too, uh, in puppy language as they do. Uh, Alex, nice to see you. Thanks very much for joining in. But again, I may possibly do some of these more in the week. Uh, it's been an absolute pleasure uh, touching hearts with you all again. And I will see you uh, later on in the week. And... Again, thank you very much. This has been our stay at home series. I'm now going to possibly call a bingo and I will talk to you all very shortly. I'm like, oh, wait for this one. Actually, kids, I like this one. This is for you. Now, kids, if you have a quarter, uh, take one of these, put this underneath your pillow tonight. Take this magic quarter, find any quarter around the house, just one magic quarter. That's all you need to do. Uh, put it underneath your pillow and then tomorrow morning, that will be magically. Uh, a one dollar bill. If not, mommy and daddy are lucky. So that's the magic quarter. I love you. Talk to you soon. Bye bye.